What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next example in the unit one advanced functions test. So we have these two functions, f of x equals sine x, f of x equals one over x. And we have to state a characteristic that both of these functions have in common and a characteristic that is different in both of these functions. Now, the different one I think is gonna be easier. There's pretty much only one characteristic that is common between these and hopefully you've worked with the characteristics and know them well enough for these two parent functions where basically both of these functions are both odd functions right basically odd functions if you remember it means that f of negative x is equal to negative f of x okay so both of these functions here are going to satisfy this property and also you could look at it graphically so if we take sine x and graph it it looks like this and then on this side it's going like that and this keeps going on forever I'm just going to stop it here at negative 360 positive 360 but basically remember graphically an odd function we could reflect it over the x and the y-axis and we would get the other half of the graph so if we take this half here let's maybe do it in a different color so if i take this half reflect it in the x-axis i'd get this and then if i take this red reflect it in the y-axis i'd end up with this other half like that so you could see graphically that sine x is an odd function now one over x the way that that looks like is it's basically like this right that is one over x. Same thing, if I were to take this half of the function, reflect it in the x-axis, it would look like that, then I gotta reflect it in the y-axis, I would end up with this piece right here. Okay, so odd function, graphically, if you reflect one half of the graph over the x and the y-axis, you gotta reflect over both, you would get the other half versus an even function you would only reflect the half over the y-axis right so if we had a function where the other half was like this then it would be an even function and actually if this was like one over x squared then this part wouldn't be here the function would look like that and one over x squared is actually an even function okay but one over x is an odd function. So that's pretty much the only characteristic that they have in common. And then a characteristic that is different for both. Well, I mean, there's so many, we could list some. First off, the domain is different, right? The domain for sine x, sine x, this keeps going on forever, even though I stopped it at negative 360, positive 360, this keeps going on forever as a wave. So the domain of sine x is basically xer. And then what's the range for sine x? Well, it's basically any real number, but it fluctuates between uh, negative one and positive one, like that, right? The minimum is at a y value of negative one, the maximums are at a y value of positive one. So that's the domain and range for the sine x, while the domain for the one over x graph is just xer, x cannot equal zero it can't equal that vertical asymptote the range is y r y cannot equal zero as well right that horizontal asymptote so the domain and ranges are totally different so that's an example of a characteristic that's different uh what else also maybe like the um the increasing and decreasing intervals are different right so for um for sine x basically if let's just pretend we're looking at from 0 to 360 and actually later on in the trig chapter we're going to generalize what i'm about to show more we're going to generalize the intervals of increase and decrease so you can look at it throughout the entire domain from negative infinity to positive infinity but let's say we're just looking at this domain here basically notice that functions increasing from 0 to let's actually write so it's increasing from zero to an x value of 90 and then it's also increasing from this x value of 270 to 360 
and actually later on uh, in Treg, we're also not going to be using degrees anymore like we did in grade 11. We're going to be using uh, something called radians, but because we haven't learned that yet up until this point, I'm just writing these in degrees. And then what's the decreasing intervals here? Well, it's from 90, right? The function is decreasing. The y values are going down up until this uh, x value of 180. So from 90 to, uh, or sorry, to 270, right? So from 90 to 270, this x value is 270 here. The uh, function is decreasing. So those are the intervals right here. And again, these are going to like repeat infinitely, uh, both to the negative and the positive side. But again, I'm just looking at it from 0 to 360 for this example. While 1 over x, notice that it only has decreasing intervals. Okay, the function is only decreasing the whole time. If you notice from negative infinity to that uh, vertical asymptote of 0, the y values are always going down. And then also from 0, to an x value positive infinity, the y values are going down, right? So completely different increasing and decreasing intervals. So that's another characteristic that is different. So a bunch of characteristics that are different for both of these functions. And then the only one that I could think of that is the same for both is that they are both odd. And that's a wrap for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to see more videos like this, please go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all of the videos are organized by chapter, by section. If you feel like you need tutoring at any point, you could also hit me up. My contact details are on the website. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.